cobwebs, Pop Pickers. This will wake Granny up all right. It's the Roxy. of It's a Sin. More relentless rhythms this week. We have with us ABC, Terence Trent Darby, and the Christians. We also have a new number one, and a little bit later, I'll be linking up with Los Angeles and Bruce Willis. Okay, now the rock team was first to show a great new single from one of Britain's top young bands. It shot into the network chart at number 28. This week, it's up 16 places to number 12. It's Misfit from Curiosity Kill the Cat.
bring you the network chart, Britain's most up-to-date hit music survey, which is compiled by MRIB. At number 20, the Pet Shop Boys, but apparently they're still broke. The Beasties go down 10 to 19, and parents everywhere breathe a sigh of relief. New at 18, Janet Jackson with another hit from top producers Jam and Lewis. A 4 to 17, there's success both sides of the Atlantic for White Snake. Ex-boxer Terrence Trent Darby looks at Champ with his Roxy new entry at 16. Pepsi and Shirley fall 8 to 15. They're no strangers, but it's goodbye to the 20. At 14, Jody Watley is up 5 in this week's Roxy chart. At 13, Matador Tom Jones is just hanging around, and that's no bull. Highest climbers this week are Curiosity, up 16 to number 12. And at number 11, Erasure's Vince Clark and Andy Bell are down three places. But right now we're going all the way up to number four, and I have a megastar on the end of this line. It's a guy who's never given a television or radio interview outside of the United States. It is Bruce Willis at number four this week with Under the Boardwalk. Bruce, congratulations with your chart success. Did you know you were number four? I just heard that. I just heard that. That's wonderful. It's actually very exciting to me that, uh, you know, to know that I have some fans over there in England also. Um, makes me feel great. So, Bruce, what about your career then? Now that you've had success in the States and in Britain on record, will you be doing more singing? Uh, actually, yes. We're doing, uh, we're doing a couple shows. Uh, we're doing two concerts in, in July and I believe two in August. And uh, we may come over and visit you guys over there. Well, I hope that means you'll visit the Roxy. Uh, I, that was one of the places that was mentioned. On the single Under the Boardwalk, you appear with The Temptations, and I'm wondering if they would be amongst your musical influences. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. From the first time I can remember listening to music or hearing music. It was it was Motown, it was the Temptation, it was the Four Top, Diana Ross, the Supreme. And uh, I grew up singing just about every one of the Temptations tunes. Now a lot of Moonlighting fans will want to know which was more fun, cementing your relationship with Maddie on screen or making a record with the Temptations. Uh, how should I answer that? <laughs> um, personally recording with the Temptations. From the sound of the happy sound of the garrison. Oh, you can almost taste the hot dogs and french fries and still. On the boat, down by the sea. and under the boardwalk. Now each week I'm going to be looking at the form of the network chart runner. This week look out for the big indie sellers, the Soup Dragons, in at 62, Shake and Stevens Boogies in at number 45, and David Bowie hits with a new entry at number 42. And here's a tip, one of Liverpool's finest band, if not the finest, with a great new single, and I'm sure it's got nothing whatsoever to do with vacuum cleaners. The song is Hooverville and the band are the Christians.
to ABC, Terrence Trent Darby, and our network number one.
performance from ABC in their tribute to Smokey Robinson. Now then, another look at the network chart compiled by MRIB. And at number 10, it is ABC, who are up seven and looking good. Euro winner Johnny Logan goes down five to nine in this week's network chart. Starship go down two to eight, despite saying nothing's going to stop them. But at seven, Samantha Fox says the same thing, and she's up four. You two slip one place to six in this week's Roxy chart. At number five, Aussie John Farnham mounts his challenge for that number one spot. But Moonlighter Bruce Willis overtakes him this week, up 12 to number four. At three, Whitney is down, but she still has the biggest selling album by a woman. George Michael holds at number two and seems to have missed out on top honors. Because the firm have beaten the lot, it's number one, Captain. this week. Yes, but not quite. Now, coming on stage next is a young man who's gone up 33 places to this week's number 16. Tonight, we have yet another Roxy exclusive. Here with his new single, Wishing Well, is Terence Trent Donovan. Hello, Terence.
brings tonight's edition of the Roxy to a close. And now, here's a network chart update. Aha go into the 20. The Cure and Black are bubblers. And we'll feature all three in next week's Roxy. And watch out for those pet shop boys. For all the positions, listen to the network chart show with me, David Jensen, on Independent Radio tomorrow at 5. And see the new chart Tuesday night here at the Roxy on ITV.